Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys, day in the life, right? We're home for the summer, let's vlog, doing all the things. So um, we got the crate down in the bedroom. Just have her um, bed, her blankie, and her, uh, what Alana call, uh, Shamika calls her lampshade of shame or something. <laughs> I don't know what she, it's just the lampshade is what Shamika calls her. Um, it is 8.45. And I am putting on some ribs. We took some ribs out yesterday to cook, but um, we did not get them cooked. Partly because I didn't feel like it. I mean, listen, let's just tell the truth about the things. I didn't feel like, let me find a tripod for you guys. I gotta find a tripod because I don't wanna hold this camera. Can't find a tripod. Well, if you were if you were a tripod, where would you be? Somewhere where I could find you, I'm sure. So, y'all, we have reversed roles in this house. Uh, first of the week, Jackson was sick. Um, and now it's the first of next week, and Alana is sick. There, my baby is on the couch. She does not get sick ever. And this is how you know she's sick. Do you see that? That's her little teddy bear. She needs the teddy bear. Um, she, we think she has a sinus infection because all up in her here and this and her teeth are hurting. So I'm thinking that this is where, because she's got some congestion that just cannot dislodge itself. And um, Jackson had a cold. So she is coughing some. And that is hurting her a little, but we think that most of that is just coming from the nose situation. Um, if you were a tripod, where would you be? You would be somewhere I can't find you right now. That's okay. I got another one. I got all kinds of tripods in this house. Well, it ain't in there. I'm walking back and forth, y'all. I'm going to tell you where it's at. I bet, I bet y'all know. Jackson. Jackson has probably taken my tripod because he was trying to do flips or some other situation. And now I can't find it. And that one doesn't have, oh, just wild. My friends, that's okay. I got a third one. And a fourth one in the car. Yeah, we got all kinds of, we got all kinds of tripods in this house. Praise the Lord, okay. So let me get you guys set up on a tripod, then we will chat. Okay, y'all, so I'm putting uh, some seasoning on this meat only because, like I said, we didn't do it yesterday. Alana didn't feel well, and I had a um, housewarming thing to go to for uh, one of the couples at the church. And by the time I got home, it was time for coffee and conversation. And it was like, y'all, mm -mm, I'm not finna do nothing. So we, I don't even think we ate dinner really. Jackson might have made him something. I had an egg. Alana ended up making me an egg. Um, well, I got these earbuds on. I had a phone call come through. Oh yeah. So update on my um, insurance claim. I was calling to see if the doctor's office could help me out with the paperwork since my doctor's no longer part of that practice. And she does have the pre-op form, the post-op form. She's got all the forms I need. And she told me that I could come over today and bring my form so she could fill it out. And then she would make a copy of all of the other form, you know, the pre-op and post-op form that was in my file. So even though that doctor's no longer at that practice, as long as it comes from the practice, um, we should be good. So the only thing now that I'm, and I'm going to go today, but I'm waiting <laughs> I'm waiting for the pediatrician to call, um, to call and let us know if she can do a virtual appointment for Alana. So that's why I had a chiropractor appointment this morning, but I uh, changed it because I'm not sure what time the pediatrician will call. So I just said, let me hang out here because I didn't want her to say, okay, she came, I can meet you in 10 minutes, which is what she said for Jackson. I can meet you in 10 minutes and me be 30 minutes away from here at my chiropractor. So I was like, well, I'll just change it to Wednesday. So I'm going to the chiropractor on Wednesday. Um, 
and that will be perfectly fine. I will wait for her to call and then I'm gonna pop over to the um, medical mall, uh, not the medical mall, to uh, the doctor's place and get that form filled out, which will be perfect because then the, the only thing I'll be waiting for is the hospital itemized bill. And then once I get that, I'll be able to send everything over with no problem. So praise the Lord, right? That's all I'm saying. I'm feeling good about that. And like I said, I don't know if they will accept the claim. I do know that my medical bridge should pop in. I don't know if my disability will because it was a new policy for that year. Um, but if, even if the medical bridge pops in, that's still $1,000 that I didn't have. So it's like hidden money that you didn't know existed for you. So go back and check those policies because it totally slipped my mind. I do have to write a statement about why it took so long to file. And I'm just going to be honest. First of all, it's not my primary insurance. I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, traditionally in the past, I have filed late on things because I, it never dawns on me to check those policies. And the recovery was just rough and being out of work and my mind was not focused on filing no claim. It just wasn't. But I believe that the Lord wants me to recoup that now because now we are working on baby step number three. Somebody asked about baby step number three. So baby step number three is saving between three to six months worth of expenses. So my expenses per month are $3,000, right at $3,000, $2,900, whatever. So right at $3,000, it's actually probably more than that once I add in all the extra stuff we do around here. So I'm looking to save between nine and $18,000 um, in case there's a job loss. Um, like I was out for the surgery for six weeks, if there's any type of loss of income, then I'm able to have money put aside to take care of the uh, expenses. It's not for extras. It's not for anything like that. It's just for the expenses. I'm trying to find my frat pan. Okay. I'm going to use this big one because I have a big piece of ribbon here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna braise these in the pan and then I'm gonna put them in the Instant Pot. I also have a little bit of a rotisserie chicken left over, so I'm gonna just braise that as well. It's already done. But I just want to put it in this um, fry pan and get a little color on it and then put it in the instant pot 45 minutes I put the ribs down first 45 minutes on meat high pressure and it should be nice and uh, tender for lunch so we'll eat it for lunch Alana may not eat a lot she's just not in the mood for eating I had to wake Jackson up to take the dog because now they're reversing roles. When he was sick, she took care of the most responsibilities of all the things. And now that she's not feeling well, he's done dishes, he's taking care of the dog, and just, you know, overall helping out around the house. So that's what we're doing pretty much, you know, just around here. Um, Yeah, we're just living our best life. That's what we're doing. So let me get these ribs in and then um, we'll pop back in and see what's happening by then.
take a um go take a um a, um allergy pill? yeah because i want to make sure that it doesn't all right meats in instant pot um and now i'm gonna go see what i can do in the living room as far as cleaning um yes head rag is still on because i just am trying to get some stuff done like i'm not going anywhere today except to go get that paper filled out but i'm still waiting for the pediatrician to call so until she calls i'm not going anywhere i'm gonna have to change my shirt because i've got some splatters on it but other than that i'm good i know there's a couple things in the living room i need to straighten up and square away and then jackson will get started on some bowel stuff i do have uh, daughters of grace tonight and we are doing romans 11 and so i've got to get some stuff done for that i'm also working on a big project well i'll start a big project I'll start a big project today. <laughs> I'll start a big project today that um, my assistant and I are working on and another one of my YouTube friends that's helping me. So I can't say much about that just yet, but I'm working on some stuff. And um, yeah, just around the house today pretty much is what we're doing. I may go out and check the garden to see if we have any tomatoes we can pull. Maybe Jackson, you wanna go check the garden to see if there's any tomatoes that can be pulled off.
fresh coffee, please, somebody. All right, y'all. So we are putting. Ooh, I stop. Pause it a sec. So what I'm doing now, I'm sitting in the living room. Let me get y'all squared away where the lighting is good. Can I get a fresh coffee here? Um, I just went to my P.O. box. I'm hot, y'all. See, I, I shift between hot and cold. Probably because I'm older. Oh, glory to God. Let me just do this one quick minute. Hold on, y'all. Ooh, Shondo Robosa. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Um... Nothing's in the microwave. It should be in the pod. I mean, it should be okay. Let's see. So, um, I just went to my P.O. box, and a couple of my, like, my recent coupon friends, uh, Miss Deborah, um, Miss Robin, and Tiffany, my friend over at um, Savvy, Saver, uh, D Savvy Saver Diva Jackson, um, sends me coupons, and so I went and I picked up coupons. So, here's what I'm thinking I'm going to do for the summer months. So, like I was saying, since I don't get paid for the summertime, you know, I, my grocery budget is only going to be $50 unless I can get some from, you know, I take some from the child support. And I will do that if I have to. But since I'm getting all these great coupons and my coupon friends are sending me stuff, especially for the free items. So, I'm looking here now, like I got... um bar soap the other day free from walmart and tiffany just sent me two more coupons i'm gonna put all the free items to the side and just go through and see where i can um where i can make some you know where i can actually oh these cheese coupons are amazing but we don't eat cheese but i might be able to find a deal so i'm gonna put all of the coupons these came from tiffany these are great um all the coupons that could potentially be some free items for me. Like I'm going to go back to hardcore couponing in the summer months. Even if it's stuff we don't eat, um, I'll be able to maybe use it for a cheat day or put it back in the pantry. So that's what I'm going to do because there are some excellent coupons here that Tiffany gave me. Because it's the only one I've opened up so far. And I always know Miss Deborah always has the best coupons. So I'm going to, in some here's some whole fruit bars. Like we could have these on a cheat day we probably couldn't have them just like a regular you know whole 30 but there's a dollar off of these and then some treats for ma'am because she jackson look in the garage and see if there are any treats for her she hadn't had a good treat in a while so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start looking for the free coupons um to really see you know what i can get when they have a buy two get three free and i've got cheese because even if we don't use it, we can put it back in the freezer or we can pass it along to people, which we we don't we honestly don't mind doing. It makes us happy to be able to find things for people. And then I had another coupon friend, Miss um, Kimberly, sent me, she said the Lord told her to share coupons with me. And she sent me an amazing amount of coupons. I was like, oh my word. And it just blesses me. So, especially during my summer months. And she was like, well, that's, yeah, give her something. She's like, during your summer months, you know, the Lord told me to send this. So, I'm so blessed. So, I'm getting back on this coupon game. Um, don't count Shakima out yet. Because, listen, I'm trying to save anywhere I can save. And then, especially, too, on, like, um, household items. Like, here's one for um, dishwashing stuff and the jet dry and the, and the pod things that we use in the dishwasher. If I can get those with coupons, I'm going to be living my best life. Here's toothpaste. Always can find a good coupon on toothpaste. And then for makeup items, I can go to uh, Walgreens or CVS and get um, makeup items and then probably earn some bucks or some rewards. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get back on this game and save what I can save. Frozen yogurt. That might be a good one for a cheat day. Okay, frozen yogurt. We can do that. Um, these came from Miss Robin. I'm just going through to see. Because the kids like cereal. And we could have cereal for a cheat day. It's not something we would normally use on a regular day. But we could easily, easily use it on a cheat day. And, and, and it holds for a long time. So, you know, that's going to be awesome. So, I'm going to get back to my using my good brain that the Lord gave me. And, um you know, use my mind. I got to use my mind to, 
help me and my children save us money where we can save. So anyway, I just was sharing that for, for those of you who are in like, you know, financial situation, even if you can save on the um, feminine items, if you can save on toothpaste, if you can save, like we use panty liners. So here's a liner. I can use that one because, you know, we run out of that stuff at points. I don't use um, feminine like things, but Alana does. And I will be paying the whole price if I don't have to be paying. Listen, you don't get to pay off all your stuff by paying the whole price. What you get to do is, um, yeah, all this stuff. Body polish. I saw some Dove body polish at Walmart. And I thought I might like to try that. So all of these things are really good. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and try to pull some of these out to the side. And then use what I can. And then, you know, it's going to help me all in the end. So I'm going to actually get my coupon and notebook back out. And while the kids and I are at, are at home, tone dial body wash. And then men's body wash because Jackson uses that. So while I'm home, I can actually put these things back in my coupon binder and really get back out there in this couponing game and help my family. Because I'm not above couponing. It's just that some of the items I wasn't using, but that doesn't matter because I can use them for a cheat day. Like I said, I can use it on a cheat day. I can use it on, you know, household the household items that I find. And so it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to go through these coupons and see what we can pull out for the kids and I to use. And Miss uh, Miss Deb always has the best one. She got one in here for the exact dog food that ma'am eats for $68 because it's a bag free. And I'm going to see if PetSmart or PetSense, Pet, Pet something takes these coupons because if it does, I can get a whole bag free. And we need a bag of food. And that's going to be awesome. I mean, she has the best coupons ever. There's things for cake mixes. I don't use that, but somebody else might, you know. I can get all the things. Zevia. We don't drink Zevia on a regular, but we could have Zevia on a, you know, like I said, on a cheat day. So I can get that at Harris Teeter. There's um Sarah Lee, because um Fourth of July is coming up. I can do a um strawberry shortcake and use this cake with a coupon. Listen, coffee, dollar off. I, I need all the things. Bush's baked beans. You can get 55 cents off. This will double at Harris Teeter. That'll be a whole can of beans because we are having um, a thing with our church. Oh, look, and this is off of Swerve. Swerve, those are both off of Swerve. Just saying. She always has the best coupons. <laughs> so this is awesome. One free Khalifa Farms. And I use that uh, like almond milk in my coffee. So I'm going to get this one for Khalifa Farms. I know it's not exactly Whole30 compliant, but um, I still use, I use creamer in my coffee, period. That's the only thing that's not Whole30 compliant that I still use. So this will be free. And I got to go to the grocery store tomorrow. And here's the thing, right? So I gave away my grocery money. Um, one of the families in our church uh, had a housewarming party. And um, they just bought their very first house. And, um, you know, I didn't have any money for a gift and I had my grocery money. So I gave the grocery money. I'm fully expecting child support this week. So I'll be able to get, you know, get some things. But we have a full pantry. We got a full freezer of meats. So we're good. So, you know, why worry? We're, we have what we need. So I'm not concerned or worried about not having what I need. I have what I need. But if I go through all the coupons and I can find free stuff, then that is just more savings for me and my kids. And so I'm just very thankful for those of you who share coupons with me. Um, and I'm just going to be out here beating the, you know, finding the deals, finding all the deals. So anywho, just going to work on these coupons.
Alrighty, you guys, so we don't have a lot more to vlog, and that vlog was getting long anyway, so we're just going to end the vlog here, and we're going to vlog again. So hopefully I'll have this vlog up Friday or Saturday. I'm not real sure which day. Probably Saturday if I'm able, or if, if I can get another one filmed tomorrow. Then I'll put this one up on Friday and that one up on Saturday. But uh, we do want to thank you so much for uh, stopping by. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you.